What was it like, really like, to be part of a great rock and roll invention, explosion, more than 60 years ago, to actually be there when it happened? And jazz kind of went that way, and rock and roll was in. Tight blue jeans, sex, very, very loud guitars up front. Somebody who can tell us is Marty Wilde. Yeah, who joins us in the studio, and someone who shared his journey nearly the last four decades, his mm -hmm. pop star daughter, Kim Wilde. Mm -hmm. um, huge hit with Kids in America, co-written by your dad, yeah, Marty. Yeah. So uh, we are in the presence of musical greatness <laughs> <laughs> and family greatness as well. So, yeah. Marty, you've got um, a, a big birthday coming up, haven't you, in just a, a few April days? April the 15th, April the 15th, yeah, it is, yeah. And you're going to be? 85. Wow. Whoa. Well, you do, you're looking Maybe well. Uh, looking great. Well, and, possible. And, and doing well, <laughs> because you're still producing music. Yeah, I love music. I adore music. Uh, I have done since I was a child. And I can't stop. That's a strange thing. And I keep saying, it's a bit like, I keep saying I'm going to retire. And then I don't. And then I keep saying, I'm never going to write another <laughs> song. And then I just keep writing. I can't well, stop it. It's you in were, me. You were born, the year war broke out. You were born in 1939. I was. So as you were becoming sort of sentient about music, listening to the wireless, uh, you'd have been hearing jazz bands, the Glenn Miller Band, all that kind of stuff. Can you remember hearing your first rock and roll record? Yeah, I can. What was it? Well, I can remember the impact of it. And that <laughs> was, um, I went to see The Blackboard Jungle. It was a film called The Blackboard Jungle. Yes. And the opening credit, music credits, was Bill Haley. And it was Rock Around the Clock. And I wasn't a fan of, necessarily a fan of Haley's voice, but I loved the rhythm. And I went out, the, I went out of that cinema and I remember I was just tapping away. Mm -hmm. I thought, this is it, because I could play guitar. We had a skiffle group and I went to the band. We were all, all little amateurs, you know, but I said, the skiffle's out, rock and roll's in. <laughs> and I said, we're going to accent on the rhythm. It was absolutely fantastic. What year was that, Martin? <clears throat> that, would, that would have been, for me, when I first started, about 56, 55, 56, I think, when it first came out. Yeah. And uh, we had a, a skiffle, a little skiffle band called the Hound Dogs. <laughs> and we used to... You know, used to... After, after Elvis is single? Uh, well, yes, it was, yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, it was. And when... You see... Before then, guitars, when they were in lineups, even skiffle lineups and, and jazz before that, they were in the back of the, they were the, back of the mix. They weren't, they weren't leading the sound. And suddenly, guitars weren't just at the front, they were distorted. Yeah, they they were actually deliberately distorted and wound yeah. up so that they buzzed and rocked and roared. Yeah. That must have been incredible to be yeah. part of that invention. A bit later, I always remember seeing Jeff Beck put his guitar, I couldn't get over it. He t this was just after the rock and roll period. Mm -hmm. it was a, it was a Bill, with, with, he, he was in band, I think it was the Yardbirds or something like that. And he turned around, I'd never seen it before, and he th thrust his Defender, whatever he was playing, into the speaker. <laughs> and of course, you know, a fantastic sound came, that distortion. <laughs> you know. yeah. yeah, it was just, but it was brilliant, yeah. you know. Amazing. And the guitar was a great, a great, mm. it's a wonderful instrument. Great instrument. Listening to all these stories as mm. you grew up, was it inevitable mm. that you were going to end up in music? Well, I mean, I remember very much Elvis was king in the house. I mean, obviously, apart from <laughs> Pop good dad. old dad. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so Elvis was king. And, um, and um, of course, I need to remind you that one of the songs on Dad's new EP is about Elvis. It's his tribute to Elvis. And, What's it called? And, uh, it's, it's called uh, Elvis, isn't Talk, it? Talking about Elvis. Mm, talking about Elvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I sing on with, with him. But, yeah. you know, we, Dad, yeah, Elvis was a big a big influence on Dad. I mean, he's the reason you're in, in the music industry and how you got into rock and roll. And there was um, a moment, wasn't there, when you might have met Elvis? There was. There but was. But you just missed out. Was that because you were dragged away by yeah, I was. your PR because you had to promote I had a to, single? I had to promote your own Bad music. Boy. My, it was my first hit, self-penned hit, was Bad Boy. And I, I was all arranged. I was going to go the next day. It was in Germany and... Um, his bodyguard, uh, Lamar Fike, his name was. Lamar fixed it up. He said, yeah. I said, and in the end, Larry, uh, Larry Pounds, my manager, who was Tommy Steele's manager as well, he said, I'm sorry, Marty. He said, well, you've got to, we've got to plug this. We need it to, to get up the charts. Oh, I said, oh, so anyway. And, and I, so I didn't get to see him. But... What, so ha just explain what it would have meant to you to, to meet Elvis. I, I think I would have been very, very quiet. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know really what to have said. Uh, I know a friend of mine, uh, several of my friends, loads of my friends, uh, met him 
and uh, he was he was always very Elvis was always very polite. But I would have seen him in a much more personal level, I think, because mm. there were no cameras around, and it was have been mm. uh, it was in the army then, you know, so it would have been fantastic. Mm. But and Cliff went over there, knocked at the door, and he wasn't in. I think something <laughs> like that happened. I know for Cliff. Yes. Did, so we never got I never got to see him then. Did you? I'm just kind of coming to the end of this now. But did you feel like you were part of a rebel movement? Because I remember as a little boy growing up in the sixties. Mm. I'm um, hearing church sermons and, and lectures at school about the evils of rock and roll, <laughs> the devil's music, all that. The kind of nonsense that was spoken about jazz 30 years before, you know? <laughs> but did you feel that you were part of an edgy new wave? Uh, no, I didn't give it... Uh, yeah, I, I just felt... I felt the rock and roll. I remember they... The people, I think it was for the Daily Express or something like that, one of the newspapers said, do you think it'll last? And you, this is never going to last. <laughs> I said, it will. I said, I said the rhythm... Yeah. His rhythm is for the whole part of this uh, music, a big part of it. I said, that's going to last. So rock and roll will last, no question about it. And its influence is uh, incredible. Just one quick thing about Elvis I'd like to say mm. is that he was the blueprint for, for so many of us because he, he showed you it's the style of singing, the voice, uh, the clothes, what, what to wear, mm -hmm. how to wiggle or move, whatever you were going to do, mm. and the attitude. And, um, yeah. It was the blueprint for, for all rock and rollers all over the world. Mm. Yeah. And we followed it, you know, and... Uh, and we're still like, following it. I was I mean, going to say, Kim, as he's well. He's still following yeah. it. He's, he starts his tour on the... T uh, I think it's a... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, he's I'm touring on, now. On tour now. Mm -hmm. He's doing his tour now. 20 and live dates on your Great Twenty yeah. Dates tour. Yeah. That, uh, that is... That's but, remarkable. But he's always on the road, you know, he jumps in the car, he drives himself there. Yeah. I mean, that could be three hours. Then he's on stage for an hour and a half. And the voice is still completely there, isn't and it? And his the voice, voice is, is absolutely pristine. Tell us about the EP um, quickly before we... The EP this. is uh, Two Eyes Streaming, which is two a, eyes a, streaming. a beautiful oh, yeah. song that um, my two dad has written. Dad's, uh, no, it, Dad's, Dad wrote it and it's rec oh, re a recording with him. But it's an EP with four songs and one of the songs is about Elvis and there are two other songs on there too. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, for Marty, I mean, for Dad to be writing songs still, he's still writing now. Um, you does know, he still write for you? Uh, no, he doesn't, hasn't been writing for me lately, but that d doesn't mean he won't be. Oh, um, but still very go. much a songwriter. I mean, he's nearly 85, a songwriter, a performer, a, a beautiful singer, has a passion for music. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm here to remind him to say all those things. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm here because Mum said, you better go on, because if you don't yeah. say it, nobody else... Yeah. You definitely won't. <laughs> he spent the whole morning talking about Elvis. Well, <laughs> no-one's going to complain about that. No, not at all. It's funny, though, isn't it? We talk about... Of of course, rock and roll lasting forever, but it, it's ageless. I was listening to a, a, a track from The Who, Won't Get Fooled Again, the other day, and those opening amazing chords by yeah. Pete Townsend. I was thinking, this could have been recorded yesterday, yeah. and it was recorded over 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree, yeah. Timeless, I agree. Yeah. I think they're all timeless. Yeah. Oh, I've got to mention, just quickly, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to Blackheath. That's where I was born in Blackheath, oh, and, wow. and I, uh, up near Blackheath. In south-east London. And I'm there, yeah, south London. I'm, I'm there, Blackheath. I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. you all. It's a going coming, back home. A coming home. Uh, coming home. Concert on the 27th yeah. of April, Lovely. Dad. And I, I love well, her catchphrase was keep dancing, yours is keep rocking. Oh, thank yeah. you very Great much. To Great to see you Thank both. You. Thank you so much.